Um, I hope you can hear me. I want to give an update about this collapse. I've been thinking about this for some time now. And that ramp, I've been scaling this ramp, 60 feet long. And as we look at this image, above what you can look at, it. and we tie in a witness statement that it say, say, sound like something collapsed below him. We have the deck not only collapsing, at, they said the, 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 that pool deck is collapsing from other witnesses that, that, that reported on the phone before their own death. Um, the guy on, in room 100, 111, on the first floor, he stated he heard uh, the floor collapsing below him. This would be below him, but more importantly, I want to zoom in on this. Take note of the garage doors closed. That's the front of the... That's the I'm trying to get the, the depth. If we can get the depth of this. And the... Uh, North side. You get you get the column location, and it appears that some of the uh, you might have some lobby of all things that it collapsed, but I don't see anything on top of here. Nevertheless, uh, good news, kind of interesting, is uh, um, National Institutes of Standards Technology says, uh, um, "Come on, move." You can help the you can help the investigation. Exclamation point! Please submit information, photos, or videos related to the collapse through our portal. And there's the portal link. I retweeted it. They sent that out July 1st, 9.36 to me. Um, that was their reply. All right, so that's interesting. Uh, NIST is there. Um, hopefully NIST will just, uh, you know, just follow the links. I'll, I'll, I've already written them there, so they know to push it on to. Um, I don't want to overwhelm their portal, so hopefully uh, they'll just... Have someone look at the channel and, and follow the data incorrectly or correctly. However, I, I adjust it, and that would be that's including um, me adjusting some of my thinking on this. Um, I would be, and it looks like the deck is down. Not just the deck, but I think part of the flooring is down. To see that far into it, the ramp is. Is, is significant. Let me look at my notes here. I forgot it's to the left. I do not have my ramp image to the left. I uh, do not have my ramp image to the left. Hold on. Uh, ramp. The ramp is 64 feet long. Now, if it was way down here and we had a collapse, we're looking 64 feet in the dark. That's pretty amazing. I know there's some lighting in there. I'm trying to triangulate the... Uh, it appears it fell on top of this ramp. This two foot two now. I can I understand where this elevation comes from now. That's off the elevation of the uh, I believe the street elevation is ten ten, and then we drop. Uh, but it's a beam across there, and if that's a beam, they're they're loading. The uh, garage floor is loaded with uh, it's not just on soil. It's loaded on beams, which is which is awesome. I mean, this makes this foundation pretty darn stable and it seems like the, the the biggest defect they have is their interaction between columns and um between columns and and uh decking columns and decking you know their their inter their interactions are, are are pretty pretty uh lacking to say the least look you you come up with the block wall see the eight inch block wall then you build the uh the, the form work and then you put this concrete on top of that 8 inch block wall, and then you put the new wall on top of there. So you have these these two, and then you guess you stucco or whatever it is. But this looks like a half inch, only a, a very slight half inch. So you got eight inches of concrete, six inches of concrete slab. So you got a five and a half inch um, slab there. You're putting uh, two pieces of reinforcement in it. Um, I don't, I didn't quite see that in the images. Your, your construction joints here have three bars in it, and they're spaced uh, divided one-third, one-third, one-third um, into this span. Um, lower third, upper third, and, and it looks like the, uh, sorry, someone's coming in my driveway. Looks about the middle line of the, of the uh, construction joint, which we see in the pool image, which I put in a video a couple of videos back. You saw that detail, but you see no rebar in it. So, I think that that reporter that's so hot, it's so hot, I mean good, I mean not hot, attractive, I mean hot as in steaming hot as in where she's going with it following hopefully my channel here, that she will uh, look into the inspections for the rebar lay placement, did they have it. Um, also, this is, keep in mind, um, I know you guys are telling me that I should be following this other guy's channel, he, he's, 
Yes, he says he's been a professional witness and all that. I've seen that. But he's not even paying attention to the, the plans matter. What years matter? He's talking about 1981, you know, the what were called for back then. These plans reference 1976 codes. So 1981 is not relevant. Um, so I have, you know, I, how, how you guys, please stop recommending me to, to go look at that data from that guy. He's, he's... You know he's behind where I'm where I'm at. He's he's behind there. He's he he could he could learn from me. I can't learn from him. All right. So um and I and I can learn from all of you guys, but that's a, the not that guy. All right. So this is the puncture setup slab opening um, detail. I think that's D E T short for detail. Um and see, we see the D E T here. D E T's other that or it's a drunk slab and it's suffering a D E T's. DTs, uh, bad joke. All right, so this again is your uh, reinforcement. Um, CL stands for center line right here, and the uh, again your, your placement is is very, it's very it's very. I don't think this steel exists. This steel right here, and the joints. Find that, and and that would be awesome. But I don't think it exists because of the pool. Gave it away with the with the with the when you see it sheared off at the pool, that's that joint we're looking at. Oh, I think I took a screenshot of it. I hope I did. Um, I hope I did. Um, and I did. So there's that. I believe that's the joint there, and that's the the cover, the layer, the extra layer with the that they added. Um, but the uh, right up here, right about like that, that piece there. That looks about center line from here to here. And the rebar is missing, but I don't see any rebar down this joint here. And that's what I comment as such. All right, I'm ending this video, and this one is, um, yeah. So NIST, if you want to find out where to send, if you guys want to send something to NIST, overwhelm them. Sure, you saw the link right there. Um, you can overwhelm them, but I'm, I'm a soft salesman. I just... Put it there and it's up for them to come snatch it uh which you saw they commented all right so we'll see where this goes take care guys bye